product demo at CO2 Meter. Now today I am here with one of our most popular portable gas detectors, the Multi-Gas Sampling Data Logger, otherwise known as the CM1000. Now like the name suggests, this unique best-in-class device is designed to simultaneously measure multiple gas concentrations such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, methane, relative humidity, ambient, dew point, and temperature. Now some background on the device is that there are six possibilities for choosing CO2 measurement ranges, as well as at least 64 sensor configurations on options for customers to choose from. Now not only is this device truly customizable, it's dependent upon your overall industry, application, and use case. You can gain ease of use from the large LCD display, which offers easy readability in the dark, the audible alarms, we call this the buzzer, when gas levels exceed the user set points, an alarm will sound, the rechargeable batteries, and the infinite data storage and analysis via the micro 16 gigabyte SD card. Now, all of these great features do not really show the true innovation behind the CM1000. So I'm going to take a deeper dive with you today to demonstrate additional operation, custom settings, data logging, and calibration right from the device itself. Let's go take a look. Now to power on the device, we're going to start by simply switching the power key on the left of the device on, and after the power is on, the device will start to measure and update the data every second. Now before we get into the actual device, we're going to go ahead and hold the mode button to get into the settings screen. Here we will use our up and down arrows to highlight over the chosen settings. Today I'm going to highlight over the backlight time, click enter, and use the up and down arrows to alter the backlight time to 136 seconds from the standard 30 seconds. That way, if I'm an industrial customer or I need some extra time for a more lit screen, I can utilize this function to the best of my ability. Now, in addition, we are going to hit enter to save the backlight time and then use our handy up and down arrows to navigate to auto power off. We're simply going to click enter and use the up and down arrows to maximize this time also to 100 minutes. Now we'll click enter again to save our setting and hold the mode button to get back into the main display screen. Easy, right? Now right away you'll notice that this main display screen showcases three main frames. The first, which displays our main sensor. This device only has a CO2 sensor intact, so this is just going to show our CO2. And the bottom two frames here are displaying the relative humidity and temperature. Now depending upon your sensor configurations in this device, the main top square here could switch between multiple gas detection frames, such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen, and methane. You can cycle through what you would like to appear on the main screen by clicking this enter button and using those up and down arrow keys again to cycle through the sensors. Now the bottom two frames here on the main display screen will always display your relative humidity and your temperature setting. However, you can go ahead and alter this temperature screen here, choosing between altitude and dew point. Now to customize these areas further, it's really important to note that the user can press the hold the mode button down to enter into each setting screen. Now here on the setting screen, you will find that you can actually change individual alarm settings to be continual. You can alter the backlight level resolutions. You can change the background color, backlight time, auto power off, and determine even the second graph line in your data analysis. And we're going to go ahead and click the mode to exit back to the screen. These continued settings can be found on page two by holding the mode button down, where you'll find additional data log time, flow rate, exhaust time, ventilate time, and sensor calibration, which can also be configured. Now, a very beneficial tool that the multi-gas sampling data logger offers is the ability to data log with the handy micro 16 gigabyte SD card. First, before using the CM1000, it is important to verify that the SD card is installed in the card slot properly. Now, as a reminder, the SD card gold chip should always be facing forward, facing the user, as seen here. Now, to begin measuring our gas concentrations, we are going to turn the power switch on. It's helpful to remove the overall inlet and outlet port seen on the top of the device. 
This is important for precise sampling. Now next, you'll verify that the CM1000 displays the proper CO2, RH, and temp settings on the main screen, as shown here. Now to begin recording the data, we're going to place the meter in a suitable location. We're going to then connect the tubing and filters as required. Next, we're going to begin logging. We're going to press and hold the pump button until the SD card icon changes its inner color to green. What this means is that the CM1000 is recording data. Now when the SD card is blue with a green interface, the pump will run continuously. To stop your logging, you're going to press and hold the pump button until the SD card icon changes color to a white interface. Once the SD card is white, this means that the data is not being recorded. When the SD card is white, it also means that the pump will stop after 60 seconds. Now for those looking to manage your files, the CM1000 stores log files on the removable SD card. At the completion of your tests, you simply remove the SD card from the CM1000 and you can use the transverter to place into a card reader or PC. Once you open your log files in Excel or CSV, you are ready to analyze your data. Now one last key feature of this multi-gas sampling data logger is that it can be calibrated by the user by performing single point calibration. Now the first step is you're going to get the calibration screen you need to enter the setup menu by going ahead and turning on your device and pressing and holding down the mode button. Next, you will select the mode button again to see the second page of the settings screen where the sensor calibration will be located. We're going to go ahead and press the down arrow key until sensor calibration is highlighted. Next, we're gonna press and hold the up and down arrow keys at the same time to enter sensor calibration. Press enter to highlight the target sensor, the top line, in red. Then press down to scroll through the available sensors. Since this device only uses CO2, we have highlighted our CO2 and we have temp and RH present. Now press enter to select the desired sensor, ours being CO2, and highlight offset in red. Next, we're gonna press up and down to adjust the offset value to calibrate the sensor. Now the offset value should be the difference between the raw reading and the performed reading. Finally, we're going to press enter when perform value is correct and at zero. Now there you have it, a bit of a dive into the CM1000 multi-gas sampling data logger.